Hey, welcome to Fridays with Foster. Uh, I am Foster. My marking person is going to kill me because I'm walking him outside. I've got uh, wind and construction and everything else. Anyway, I'm found in the Bourbon District in Nulu in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, at a place called Quills. And here's the uh, the drink. This is interesting. So I've already drank everything at my my place. Um, over at Logic. So I decided to walk down to Quills and get something. This is called a coffee soda. Now, I don't know if you can see it in there. A little orange, right? So it's actually uh, the uh, cold brew coffee with soda and it's infused with orange or whatever. And I'll tell you what, at first it, I really wasn't excited about it, but I gotta tell you, it's pretty good. <laughs> so Anyway, uh, so today, what are we going to talk about? Well, I want to talk about the, uh, the saying you've probably heard. If you haven't, you should adopt it. I think it's fun. Band-aids on bullet holes. So there's several different things you could talk about with the idea of band-aids on bullet holes. What's that mean? So uh, the first thing is you can look at it as people are lazy. They don't really want to address issues in their business. So when there's a big issue, they just put a band-aid on it and go about their business. Okay. Well, that's one way to look at it. I think there's a couple other things that we can look at too. Um, when we don't know any better, it's not for speed, it's because we haven't really dug into what the problem is. And we think this will hold it for now. It's not that I don't care, it's that I'm going to make a conscious decision to move forward with this Band-Aid solution on what may or may not be a bullet hole as far as I know. Right, but I'm gonna go ahead and address it as if it's not instead of addressing it as if it is. Okay, well, that's another way to look at it. What I really find is the issue though is people move too fast. It takes time to actually sit down and evaluate a situation which uh, could have a, a, a permanent or extremely negative uh, effect on your business. So instead of looking at things from the standpoint of how can I not get hit by a car? Instead of looking at things from the standpoint of how can I dig a little bit deeper to understand what the situation is? So if I am truly going to address it and fix it, I only have to do it once, right? Uh, instead of uh, just kind of jumping in and, and uh, moving quickly and, and not doing a, a, an adequate job of addressing the problem, before uh, a pathetic job at, at fixing it, right? So I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, the, the bullet hole will always win over the band. -aid. So why not take the time now when you know you've got a big issue in the business? For instance, you've got somebody that you need to get rid of, but you're afraid to because they're a warm body, except they're a warm body that's costing you money and they're probably not doing a great job and other employees don't like them and they could be keeping a grade players away from your team but you know we're going to put a band-aid over that and maybe put them on a, a development plan or or something like that when you know it's not the right mix it's not it's not good it's not worth it it's not a good value um match for you in the business but you said oh no we'll deal with this later well I'm not saying that you're gonna, your whole business is going to dissolve because of one person necessarily as a bullet hole could kill you, but not every bullet hole will kill you right away, right? You can last a long time, a shot in the gut or something like that. If they miss an artery, you can last a while putting these band-aids on the bullet holes. So for you today, just take a minute, assess the situation at hand, and then I'll just do an honest appraisal about what needs to be done next. Uh, this is not a dress rehearsal, so when it comes to situations where you should be maybe attacking issues, uh, maybe you need to start attacking them. So um, I think as Napoleon said, when you commence to take Vienna, take Vienna. All right, have a great day. And remember, life's too short for bad coffee.